Lord has already put away your sin. There are a lot of folk in the congregation right now that are forgiven but frozen. Psalms 51 is not about forgiveness. David is seeking something else here. Psalms 51 and verse number 10 says, Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast away me from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit away from me, and restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Tell your neighbor, it's all about joy, baby. It's all about joy. I'm coming out, but I need my joy after I come out. And the Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. But watch this. But though he fall, who falls? The good man. Though the good man falls, he shall not utterly be cast down. What are you talking about, Bishop? I'm trying to get you to see that just because you made a mistake don't mean you have to surrender your praise. Come on, say, I'm going to praise him anyhow. Say, I'm going to praise him in the midst of the storm. Let me get back to the text. I'm going to sit down. This is our anchor text. At midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises. Paul and Silas are facing midnight, where the anticipation and expectation is for elimination and annihilation. But they decided that in the midst of their death situation, that they were not going to surrender their praise. And so they pray. And I want to tell you, all the people of God, keep on praying, baby. Come on, keep on praying. But along with your prayers, the Bible says they sang praises unto God. Now, what were they singing, saints of God? I don't know what they were singing. Perhaps they were singing, have faith in God. Perhaps they were saying, he did it before, he can do it again. Perhaps they were singing, he brought me out of the mire clay. I don't know. Maybe they were singing, I know the Lord will make a way. Yes, he will. Perhaps they were singing, I'm looking for my miracle. I expect the impossible. I feel the intangible. I see the invisible. I don't know what they were saying, but one thing I do know is that they refuse to surrender their praise. Tell your neighbor, your victory is between your hands. Now praise the Lord and give him some. Yeah! 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 Check this out. The Bible says the prisoners were listening. The Bible tells us that when Paul and Silas began to sing praises to God, guess what happened? Everybody else's chains were broken. Somebody is somebody else in this place is waiting for their release. If you would open up your mouth and give God your best praise. Tell somebody I'm coming out, but my joy is still intact. The devil tried to kill me, but God wouldn't let me die. Des and despite what I'm going through, despite what I've come through, yet will I praise him. I will not pull out too soon. I will not surrender my praise. I will bless the Lord at all times. Hey! Praise confuses your enemy. The Bible says that Paul gathered some sticks together and made himself a little fire. And when they lit the fire, out came a venomous snake, latched onto his hand, bit him two or three times. And the people were standing around said, because this guy is such a bad sinner, though he escaped the pearls of the sea, yet destiny has caught up with him. 
and he's getting ready to die. And they waited for him to die. There's a lot of folk that just waiting for you to die. They know you've been bit. They know people have thrown poison at you. They know people have bit at you, bit you. And they're just waiting for you to fold up and die. But guess what? The Bible says, the Bible says that after a few minutes when he didn't die, they changed their minds. They said, he must be a God. No, I'm not a God, but I got God on my side. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I got God on my side. Hallelujah. What do I care about an IRS agent? God is in control. They said, they said to the king, said, king, the king said, I done spent all this money for this mercenary army. But God said, send them back home. He said, I ain't going to be able to get my money. It's a money, it's a money back non-guarantee. You're not going to get your money back. And he said, don't worry about it. God can give you much more than this. Touch your name and say, I ain't worried about no IRS. God can give me much more than this. But I must not surrender my praise. Because praise confuses your enemy. Let me tell you one little story. You know how much I love the Civil War. The first major battle of the Civil War was called Bull Run. Or the Confederates called it Manasseh. Everybody say Manasseh. It was so assured that the Union would beat the Confederates. They had them by three to one. That people dressed up in their Sunday church clothes, bought picnic baskets out to watch the war. Had, had the senators and congressmen bought their lawn chairs out to see the first battle of the Civil War. Uh, by the way, at the end of the Civil War, 630,000 Americans died, 2% of the population. And they're waiting. And so they give the order for the Union to attack. And the Union is attacking. Everywhere they go, they're beating. They're beating and driving back the Confederates. Everywhere they go. S they're doing so good that they stop and pick up souvenirs. Say, we're going to hang Jeff Davis to a sour apple tree. It's so good. And all of the Confederates were running except one general from Virginia. He stood there. He told his men, don't run. He said, if you're going to die, you're going to die, but you're going to fight in this battle. And he started fighting against the Union. So just one army from northern Virginia. The man's name was General Thomas Jackson. And one of the other Confederate soldiers looked over at him and looked at his men running. He said, stop running. He said, there stands Jackson like a stone wall. And from that point on, he was known as Stonewall Jackson. And Jackson said to his Confederate troops, he said, now attack. He said, but when you attack, let out a yell, let out a yell. And it became known as the rebel yell. It scared the enemy, it confused them. Because the Union had three, four times, five times as many soldiers, but the Confederates beat their behinds that day. I'm telling you, saints, although you are overwhelmed, I'm telling you, although your back is up against a wall, you yell out, you yell out a praise to God in the midst of your death situation. You stand there like a stone wall and said, I shall not be removed. I shall not be moved. And God will bless you. Come on and bless him right now. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye people, come into his presence with praise. Praise the Lord. Call upon his name. Declare his deeds among the people. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Not a sad song, but a new song. And when you sang praises unto God, God has promised to give you something. What did he tell you? What did he promise, Bishop? The garment of praise 
for the spirit of heaviness. Uh, whatever you do, uh, don't surrender your praise. Uh, I'm coming out uh, with my joy intact.